Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for the week of August 31st. Uh, this week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And uh, let's see what we have for you here, Scorpio. I definitely feel like some of you could be going through healing. You have this like time for a nap card. Um, so it might be time for a nap, Scorpio. And you have this healing chaos card as well. I feel like a lot of you, I actually really like this. I feel like you're like very much looking forward into the future here in a lot of ways. For some of you, I almost feel like you could be letting go of something here. It's like you're looking back before you let go of something with this two of wands down here. We'll talk about that in a minute. But in a lot of ways, yeah, I actually like this. I feel like you're setting yourself free uh, from something from the past. Could be a relationship, could be anything. Uh, you start off with the koala spirit and the brown bear spirit. This says take time out. And the koala spirit says um, spirit has a plan. For some of you, I mean, I feel like this could be anything here, Scorpio, in this last row. You have the five of wands, the strength card, and the four of pentacles. Definitely could be a breakup that you've gone through here. And it's like just saying that spirit has a plan. So I feel like it's saying that the breakup might have been divinely guided. There could be some other situation going on here that has required strength with the strength card. Again, in this row, you have the five of wands, the strength card, and the four of pentacles. So I feel like for some of you, it's like there's something that you were holding on to here with the four of pentacles, or there's something that you were hoping would work out. That strength card is saying, in with the five of wands, like there was conflict in a situation. Strength card says you have been very strong <clears throat> at this time in whatever this situation is, or you, you are in a situation that has required a lot of strength with that strength card. For others, I feel like this is a victory for you. You go from the five of wands to the ace of swords. So um, love that. And you have the strength card as well. The strength card, you have like a lot of very determined energy here, strength, three of wands, um, and also this queen of wands. Queen of Wands is a card of boldness. It's a card of being very bold, being very assertive, really going for what you want. So I do feel like there could be a victory over competition here. This could be you getting a job or getting something that you've been waiting for for a long time. So it could be that type of victory. You have this time for a nap card. So again, I feel like this is saying when you have a victory or when you get this victory, whatever it is, that it might be time for you to like rest and relax. Yeah, you have the serendipity card as well. It's like things are definitely falling into place for you here. And I like to see that. Uh, in this row, you have the Ace of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Two of Wands. I feel like there's definitely a victory for you here. The Three of Wands is like a card to me that can represent waiting for the perfect moment when there never will be a perfect moment, Scorpio. The Three of Wands to me can say it's like time for you to take some sort of leap of faith. Um, but really, I feel like what it's saying for you is that your ships are coming in. So for some of you, I feel like you're finally seeing results on something um, that you've been trying some sort of win that you've been hoping for here. Definitely could be a job. Again, five wands is just conflict and competition. Ace of swords would be the victory over, <clears throat> excuse me, over that conflict and competition. And the queen of wands is a card of boldness and assertiveness. This could also say, by the way, if you're trying to get a job, Scorpio, where there is a lot of competition, the Queen of Wands says, you need to do whatever you can do to stand out. Queen of Wands to me is my card of like um, touching up your resume, adjusting your resume, fixing your resume, um, fixing your, uh, you know, trying to stand out in some way. It's kind of like a card of unique energy or uniqueness. It's a, it's a card that says there might be certain talents, gifts, skills, or abilities you have in work or in business if you're trying to get a job that kind of make you stand out. Uh, if this is a love, this to me says that someone is noticing though like certain traits inside of you that make you unique so i definitely like to see that but this is some sort of major victory i feel like this is a major win um ace of swords three of wands something you've been waiting for two of wands something that allows you to leave a comfort zone two of wands to me is a card of leaving a comfort zone there's always like a village in this bottom corner here uh scorpio so i feel like for some of you it can represent leaving needing to leave a comfort zone this two of wands is facing towards this four of pentacles here so i feel like for some of you you could be holding on to comfort here with this four of pentacles i feel like some of you could be asking like should i leave this job i would say yes three of wands like moving forward this page of wands here moving forward queen of wands she boldly charges forward towards something for others 
I almost feel like this is a question. Um, like, and what I mean by that is maybe you're like, maybe you're in a relationship, but maybe you feel a little stuck. Maybe you feel trapped. And I feel like this three of wands is saying move towards someone new. So the, this two of wands, I feel like it's saying don't get stuck in comfort. Don't get stuck in a comfort zone, but some sort of major victory, major win over a competition for you this week. Uh, next, you have the Healing Chaos card here, and you also have the Going Forward. Look, look at like this whole this whole last row is you moving on to a new path, moving on to a new journey. This is a very simple reading, Scorpio, and it's very very positive as well. I love this. Some, some sort of major victory coming in for you. I feel like you could be do, doing a lot of healing, a lot of this is like a lot of improvements as well. That Queen of Wands to me is a very bold, assertive energy. So it says you're really going for things you want. The Page of Wands like saying you're kind of like getting ready for a new journey here. Yep, Page of Cups, ready to start something new. Page of Cups is a little bit unsure, you know? So I feel like with this Page of Wands, Page of Cups, it's like you have a dream. You see that there's some sort of new opportunity. If I can get this to show up here, there's like a fish in that cup, Scorpio. And that fish, it could represent love. So this could be a love offer, but... It can also just be an opportunity. The Page of Cups is kind of like looking at that fish as something that he wants to accomplish. So for a lot of you, this is like an opportunity. It's like you're moving towards it here. For a lot of you, I feel like this is just like a leap that you need to take. Or I feel like you just need like a little bit of a push here. This reading, I feel like is your push. If you're thinking about making any type of change or uh, going for something you want, this Queen of Wands is saying like charge for it, be bold, be assertive. Same thing with these two pages. This Eight of Swords, this whole bottom row is just saying don't stay stuck in the past. Eight of Swords is self-imposed restriction. So for some of you, I feel like this is about needing to let go of the restriction. You know what's interesting about this uh, this serendipity card here, Scorpio, is it kind of just says, like once you get started, the universe will take care of the rest of the work. So for some of you, it's like maybe you want new love, but you're kind of like afraid to leave a past relationship or whatever. You know, this could say like once you get started on the journey, then new love will show up very, very quickly. Uh, same thing with like work or business. Maybe your job sucks. Maybe there's a lot of conflict or competition. This card says once you get started on that new journey, there will be a lot of quick success for you, but it's like you have to get started um, before, and then the universe will kind of take care of things. So let's clarify through here, Scorpio, and let's see what else we get for you. Uh, between the Five of Clubs and the Ace of Swords, you have the Jack of Clubs. This is called the Scythe, or, I mean, this is called the Whip, and it can represent um, beating yourself up. It can also represent competition. So I just feel like it's like, this is just a victory over competition. This is just a victory over things that have held you back. Uh, between the uh, the strength card and the three of wands, you have the queen of sword, the queen of spades here. This is called the bouquet. And this could represent like a gift. Again, you do have the page of cups and page of wands here. This could be like a love offer you've been waiting for coming in for you. Someone who makes you feel really good. So definitely could be someone coming in for you. Again, maybe you've been waiting for communication or if you've been waiting to hear from someone or maybe you've been waiting for something, period. Three of Wands is your ship's coming in. You could be waiting for a pair of shoes in the mail and <laughs> this could be those things coming in for you. So I do feel like for some of you, uh, this could be just something you've been waiting for. Um, for a lot of you, I feel like it could be communication. Between the Four Pentacles and the Two Wands, look, Eight of Hearts this is called the Moon. The Eight of Hearts is your dreams. It is not like the Moon in the Tarot. The Moon in the Tarot represents fantasies and illusions, things that will never become a reality. The Moon in the Lenormand says, you need to make your dreams a reality. There will be a victory. Uh, between the Ace of Swords here and the Queen of Clubs, yeah, you have the Mice here. The Mice is like a card of paying attention to the small details. It's like a little bit of a slow energy as well. Um, and it can represent like very slow progress, but to me, it's still a card of progress. So I feel like you're making progress towards your goals. Um, between the three of wands and then the jack of club, the jack of wands or the um, page of wands, sorry, uh, here Scorpio and the, and the page of cups here, you have the child. For some of you, the child, you know, with two pages, this can represent like immature energy. So I feel like for some of you, this is saying if you're looking for love, you know, be careful of like young, immature energy with these cards. You know, the mice here, again, is a card of slow progress or delayed progress. And it can say that maybe immature people in general, not just in love, but in other areas of your life have caused a delay in progress. Uh, between the two of wands here and the eight of swords, you have the lily. This is the king of spades. Uh, you have the king and the queen of spades here. Now this could be divine counterparts here. Uh, to me, this would be the beginning of communication 
with your divine counterpart or you know whatever you want to call it so if you're looking for love definitely could be love if you're not uh, this could just be gifts from the universe so i like that uh, in your top row outcome you have the king of hearts this is what i feel like you're looking for is a king and again i don't attach gender to my cards so whatever gender you're attracted to doesn't matter i feel like you're looking for someone who's serious the house is someone who's very serious because the house represents the feelings of home it's a card of like safety security comfort protection and so for some of you it's like you could be trying to attract that type of love into your life with the king of hearts so that's what I would say there, uh, but let's keep this going. In your middle row here, you have the Ace of Clubs, Marriage. Uh, all three water signs have had this card. Ace of Clubs is a card called the Ring, and it represents like an engagement ring. So I do feel like for some of you in the future, it's like you're more focused on someone who's gonna be very serious here um, with that energy is what I'd say to you. In your bottom row, you have the Eight of Diamonds. Yeah, you hold the keys necessary to be very successful this week. The Eight of Diamonds is called the Key, and it just represents material success on the horizon. So I feel like there's a lot of success uh, that will be coming in for you here. I just want to clarify through some of these things. I want to take, I would be careful of tricky people this week. You have the fox, the mice, and you have this queen of clubs. Um, you know, this could say that to be careful of seductive energy, anything that seems too good to be true. Um, so I would be careful of anything that seems too good to be true. Again, is this the end of the world? Probably not, but it could be one of those situations where it's like, you know, this could be like a false promise, someone who's lying or whatever. So I would just be careful of that. For some of you, it could be like a friend I really feel like it's like an ex-friend or a past friend. I feel like you've already been dealing with this person. I'm getting a D name popping into my head as well. I don't do names, by the way, Scorpio, <laughs> at all, but it's popping into my head. So I feel like for some of you, there's like someone with a D name. Their first name begins with a D, maybe their last name or something, but I don't know. But, um, you know, I feel like there's like a tricky person going on here. So I would just be very careful of any tricky people. I do want to clarify this as well. And I feel like you'll be getting communication. Queen of Spades here with the bouquet, kind of like I was saying earlier, I feel like this could be communication that you've been waiting for. So I do feel like some of you could be getting good news. The seven of diamonds is a little bit tricky is what I'd say to you, Scorpio, because the seven of diamonds can represent messages that you get, but these, I mean, these could be messages in your dreams. These could be messages in your daydreams. So the seven of diamonds kind of says, trust your intuition, number one, but number two, it's like you could be waiting for a message from someone and it's like maybe you don't get it directly from that person you know so i'm getting all sorts of stuff popping into my head here for some of you it's like maybe you're wondering about an ex and maybe they post something on you know instagram or something like that and it's like there's your answer so i feel like you need to pay attention to messages that are happening outside of yourself yeah, between the King of Spades here, you have the fish, the King of Diamonds. A lot of kings showing up here in your reading. The King of Diamonds is your true soulmate. And it's called the fish, but it just represents your true soulmate. So there could be true love coming in for you in the near future. It's also a card of a harvest as well, um, like a financial harvest. So I feel like some of you could be kind of hoping or waiting for a financial harvest with that fish card. But uh, this looks pretty good for you here, Scorpio, actually. So I do like to see most of this here. I actually, I'm on a poll. Um, I did this for cancer as well, but I want to pull an extra row here. Yeah, you have the Knight of Cups in your future, knight, like a knight in shining armor coming in for love. Knight of Swords, someone charging in very quickly here. And the Nine of Pentacles, you're doing fine on your own, <laughs> is what I would say. So a very independent energy here. I do, I definitely feel like there's love coming in in the future. Like I said earlier, probably not this week. You have the King of Hearts, the ring here. These are cards of engage, engagement, but you, you know this is your future position. And then this future row here, I definitely feel like there could be a future like true love coming in for you. Definitely someone who will be very significant with that Knight of Cups. But at the same time, I feel like it's in the future. For others, I definitely feel there's a need to slow things down this week. You have the mice here. Again, the mice is normally a challenging card, Scorpio. I, I actually don't consider it to be that bad of a card, but um, I, I feel like it's saying you need to slow things down this week. Nine of Swords. I, I just wouldn't rush towards anything. I mean, overall, I feel like you're feeling pretty good this week with this card here, with the Nine of Pentacles, feeling pretty independent here. Yeah, it definitely could be love. You have the lovers on the bottom here coming in for you. So it uh, definitely could be love coming in the future. But, you know, she has this falcon on her hand here, Scorpio. And, you know, the falcon, it's like she sends it out into the world. You have the birds right here. She, like, sends out intentions or she's kind of 
you know, falcons kind of represent more of like a visionary energy, putting something out there, you know, surveying things from a high vantage point, looking at everything in your life. So I feel like for some of you, maybe this week, um, that this is more like, like I said, I feel like there's definitely victories coming in for you with this Ace of Swords here. But I feel like this Nine of Diamonds is just saying, Nine of Diamonds is a really good card, card of independence, success, gratitude, and luxuries. But I also feel like this card is saying that you're kind of just like taking a bird's eye view of your life this week and you're kind of like seeing, you know, am I ready for love? Do I want love in my life? Or are other things more important? And that's really what I feel like this reading boils down to. <laughs> Having said everything that I just said, I feel like that's what that this reading boils down to. So pretty good reading for you, Scorpio. But uh, thank you for watching and definitely enjoy your week.